Hello guys, welcome back. It's Izzo Crunk channel with you today and I have another cool project. It's a milli ohm meter which will allow you to measure sub ohm resistances. And in this video I will provide you with the schematic and instructions how to build one. Well, let's get right into it. So just a quick one before we start. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe, give it a like and also tell me what other videos you want to see in the comment area down below. Let's get it started. So as I said before, we are going to build a milli ohm meter which will measure sub ohm resistances. Now the main reason for building this device is actually uh, to be able to measure uh, small coils and resistive elements and just small resistors can be really handy especially when you're in a hurry and you actually need a very specific value for the specific component. So we are going to start with the constant current source which consists of an LM317 and it's a really handy little device. Then we're going to solder our two resistors which will set the constant current to 100 milliamps which is really important for our resistance measurement. Then it's time to solder our LM358 op amp. This little device has two op amps inside which actually can be used for a whole variety of projects but in this case we are actually using only one. I did have some initial trouble soldering the DIP8 socket. For solder it's quite easy to jump the two pins so I had to remove it with a wick. Now it's time to insert our LM358 op amp. So now it's time to solder our 100k ohm potentiometer with which we will be able to adjust the gain of the op amp. So after adding a 1S LiPo BMS board and a boost converter to our circuit and a lot of complementary wiring as it is a prototype for now, the device is ready to show what it can do. After assembling the device off camera, it became clear that it just works and it's running off a single 1650 battery. So here I'm going to try a 0.68 ohm power resistor. And here we go. As you can see, it simply works. And let's try one ohm. Here we go. Yep, working just fine. So after playing with a whole bunch of resistors and actually checking and kind of calibrating this device, it was time to finally assemble it and present it to you. So I think this device actually turned out great and I'm really pleased of how it looks. In the next video we will be working on the circuit board for this to make it into a real piece of equipment I can use in the lab. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like, perhaps subscribe and hit that bell icon so you will never miss my new video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.